Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Like I said, Happy New Year. And this is a year of divine expansion. God wants to expand us beyond our limitations and beyond every barrier imposed by humanity or by uh, infernal um, satanic activity. But here, here's um, the principle for today. And I like to call today costly adjustments costly adjustments and and I'm on a roll and that role is with is uh, with Rahab Rahab the harlot we're on the Rahab role and uh, like I told you I've been fascinated by the story of Rahab the prostitute wow Rahab the prostitute finding her way into God's books in Hebrews chapter 11 she enters God's hall of fame and her name is deeply etched over there not only that but Rahab was also a choice when God wanted to bring the Messiah, the Christ, God used Rah Rah out of Rahab's womb came some of the people that were forefathers of Jesus. And that is a very, very powerful truth. Now, this, um, t this morning I like to call it costly adjustment. And I'm calling it costly adjustment because sometimes for the sake of what is ahead of you, you need to make some adjustments and you need to make some sacrifices. Now the Bible says when the two spies in Joshua chapter 6, 1 to 19, when the two spies were sent to spy out the land, Rahab took them in. Now Rahab, if you remember, Rahab is a, is a harlot. Rahab is a prostitute. And um, I mean, those two people coming uh, could be either customers uh, or, 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 or a means of making money as earning her livelihood. And uh, the Bible says when those men came to her, now, instead of, I mean, uh, charging them money and then uh, getting what she wants out of uh, taking a pound of flesh from them, the Bible says she rather hid them in the stocks of flags. So Rahab had been doing business for a long time, but these two people who were coming, he said, I ain't going to do business with these people. This is not a business issue at all. This is a sacrifice I have to make. This is a costly adjustment I have to make. I have never... Uh, made this ad uh, adjustment for anybody. But I need to protect these people. Well, these people are my future. And as a result of that, there are costly adjustments I need to make now. I'm not going to trade in their flesh. I'm not going to do anything, but I'm rather going to hide them by the stocks of flax. Now, out of flax comes linen. And linen stands for the righteousness of people according to the book of Revelations. I think, yeah. Now, and, 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 and that's what it is, the linen. The Bible says that the, the righteousness of the people are as linen, you know. So Rahab said, I am not going to hide, I'm not going to trade in their flesh anymore, but I'm making a costly adjustment. I'm not going to trade in their flesh. I'm not going to enjoy the, the benefits or the pleasure of their flesh, but rather I'm going to hide them in the stocks of flax and cover them. And not only cover them, but protect them. And that, and that means it was a costly adjustment she made. It was a, it was a, a, a threatening um, a life-threatening adjustment because the king and his army came looking for the men and she protected them and she said they are not here. Sometimes for the sake of what you want tomorrow, you need to make some costly adjustments and you need to make uh, those, those adjustments will be painful. There are some sacrifices that you have to, to make. Sometimes for the sake of the building you have to put up, you have to cut down on your expenditure or sometimes for the thing that you want tomorrow, you need to make sac certain sacrifices now in order to be able to, to achieve that end. You see, we, we, have, we have grown to be a people who don't want to pay a price for what we have. Who don't want to, I mean, they, they, they want the, the, the fine necessities of life, but they don't want to pay the price. They don't want to sacrifice their time, their talent, and their treasures for that. But that's what Rahab did. Rehab said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make that costly adjustment now. There are things that God wants to do and there are expansions that God wants to bring. But you need to make some costly adjustments for that thing to happen. That's what Rehab did. A prostitute is teaching us 
that there are priorities. Learning to prioritize. What is priority and what is not priority? Sacrifice the non-priorities and even among the priorities, grade them and there are things you can do without because of what you want to achieve tomorrow. That was Rahab. I will not trade in their flesh. I'd rather make a covenant for my safety. And that was the choice of Rahab. It is also your choice to make. It is also your choice to make. Listen, make those costly adjustments now because of what you are expecting God to do. See you later.